Day three, we are here, back. We're back in the warm up area again. Uh, we got a few hours till anybody goes. Today, the schedule changes just like last week. So all the teams go first, individual second, and then it breaks down to top 10 women and top 10 men to finish. And that's where things get shaken up a little bit, just like we saw last week. So this week we are in first with Saxon, fifth with Brooke, Colty's in, I think around 15. And then our new athlete, Logan, is actually in a qualifying spot in fifth place. Um, so we're really keeping our eyes on that. Um, we think Brooke will have really two good workouts, so we're not too worried about it there. She may even hit a home run on this next one and take an event win away, which would be awesome. Um, Saxon just needs to play his game. Saxon's in the spot now to where he's got it pretty much locked up because of his ability. Now we want him to take some risks because we want to train him now to go towards the games, not just to be complacent with where he's at and keep moving slowly. We want him to go hit a home run, do his thing, end the weekend with all of that wins, which would be great for today. Uh, and then Brooke, just to keep doing her thing, right? She's gonna do great on these. Logan, because he is newer with us, we don't know his strengths to a T, so we'll do a lot more work in the back with him to make sure he's got a good mindset going to it game plan wise. Um, it should put him good space into the field because he's such a veteran. So once he gets on the floor, he'll be able to see around him, see where guys are and know who he needs to beat. Um, and it should be a good day. Um, we'll check in afterwards and hopefully we've got three athletes going to the games. Brooke is just warming up for her fifth workout. Uh, she's feeling really, really good. Um, yesterday, you know, it was a little bit of a rough day, but um, you know, a huge learning in a couple of things. So. Like in, in the way I look at it, I actually think yesterday was a huge success just because, um, you know, we, we learned so much from yesterday. But, uh, you know, if you were to ask Brooke right now, I think she, she didn't really agree with me on that. But, um, yeah, she, she was a little hot after that last workout yesterday and kind of overheated. So we had to like bring her um, body temperature down, you know, pretty much like lay her down and put ice on her and help her, you know, get rehydrated and um, eat some solids and stuff. She's feeling 100% this morning, which is great. Um, and so I'm really excited to see how she goes for this next workout. She's still got to put the foot down and, and not leave anything in the tank. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy today. She's still going to have to fight, but if anyone on our uh, in our group can do it she 100% can so I'm really excited to see what she's capable of today yeah uh, as you can tell my voice is a little raspy yes thanks for pointing that out Brandon um, but you know yesterday uh, lots of excitement um, had to cheer uh, everyone on and um, I think what tipped me over the edge was when Saxon was the only athlete to actually complete that workout uh, event four yesterday. So, you know, I was just getting so excited at the end and, you know, I wanted to make sure that he was uh, successful in it. So I was just screaming at the top of my lungs, probably a little crazy in some people's eyes, but, um, you know, he, uh, he was successful in doing that and I was just super happy for him. So my voice hasn't really recovered since then, but uh, it was all worth it. Event five, we're warming up Saxon now. We watched Brooke, thankfully, because they did the same workout before. Learned a lot, standard-wise, so that's what we kind of look out for on game day and what we can kind of push the limits, what we can't, where we can kind of make up ground on our competitors from a coach's standpoint. So these are all really good movements for him. It's gonna be about staying consistent and then really bringing it home at the end because he's really good on that box. Shane would be better to help you on this one. So what you want to do is you just want to make sure there's four, what's, what are we talking about? He doesn't even know the, he doesn't know the workout. It's, um, which, <laughs> which workout? <laughs> On this one? So it's 18 ring muscle ups, 15 <laughs> Everyone's going well. Uh, we're moments away before event six. 
here at the MAC. Um, I think women go first and the men go first, so that's pretty good. We're just building out uh, Brooks warm up at the moment. For the most part, what we find is this far in the weekend, our warm up time shortens just because of the residual fatigue from the weekend. So we're conscious of that just to make sure that everything's more purposeful of what we do. We've just briefly spoken about our position and just being more conscious of a straight line and just making our movement patterns consistent and thoughtful if that makes sense what we don't want to do is just be just connected with our torso and then we're having to work harder out of the lunch uh, we say that just because prior half an hour ago 45 minutes ago they just did 50 dumbbell snatches so like the bit of fatigue through the midline and 60 total bar there could be residual fatigue in that uh, what else can I say yeah, the spirits are good right um, been a long week but we're confident, right? At the same time, I just want these guys to do their best, showcase their fitness, give them an opportunity to highlight the work that they've put in. I know the coaching staff and I were proud of what they've done, so it's time to burn down. Saxon secure their spot in the games. Yeah, exactly. Um, that was good. Yeah, motion all around. These athletes keep stressing us out. Yeah, Will last week, we got Brooke secure the game. But we did well. Like, everybody finished where we wanted them to finish. We got three people going to the game so far. Four. Four? Four, four, sorry. Thank you, Dwight. Um, we got one more week of semis, and we're back to games training. So it was good. You know, we were here two weeks in a row. They did a good job on everything. You taking this, this man the star of the show. <laughs> yeah, we, we learned a lot, which the programming was kind of not great for a lot of us. So especially with Brooke coming back with her elbow, we didn't know what was going to happen. She made it interesting, but we're right where we want to be no matter what. Um, five people go to the games, whether you come in first or fifth. So now it's time to get to work. You want me to do my Nick impression? Yeah. Yeah, close it. All right. Are you ready? All right, we're closing up day three here at the MAC. We had uh, Saxon punch his ticket, and Sydney, she did pretty good, and um, Spencer, too, all punching their ticket and making it to the game. So, really proud of our proven team, and uh, I don't know what to say, man. It's feeling a little emotional at the moment. What about Colty? Yeah. How'd Colty do? Colty did okay. Colty barely made it onto the floor for the last event, but we'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> Signing out. Let's go. Close out or something? We close it out. Colty closed it out. Oh, yeah, good. good. I'm pumped for that. Oh, well, I don't know if you want to fill it, but boy, what a weekend. For different reasons, I guess. Um, obviously, Saxon to execute the win, which is huge. 
I think it was, it was cool, right? I think we had a great way to finish it. We had everyone there at the finish line to celebrate family, his family and all. And then we had on the other spectrum, we had Brooke, right, executing and coming back from a season that no one, no one thought was possible but herself, you know? So I think that speaks volumes about about her and the work that she's done. I think it's just cool that we got to be a part of it. It's pretty special in that way. Hey. But if this is not the closeout, but again, thanks to everyone who's been supporting these guys, our team, our coaching staff, it's, it's bloody surreal. Um, I feel like I'm a, I'm a footy boy, you know, like, yeah, the lads. But all seriousness, honestly, guys, it's, we appreciate what you guys do from your end as well, supporting, cheering these guys on. Um, I, I, I generally appreciate what you guys do. It's, it's your cheers, your your laughter, your support that um, makes them step it up another gear too. So all the best.